Pretty much was, uh, especially in the second half, you look to get runs, and you got a couple of short ones, then all of a sudden it was like the, the uh, old line was opening up, either outside the tackle or inside the tackle. You was getting the scene out pretty quick. It was, like I said, they were just doing what they had to do. You know, we got a rhythm fight, we got a rhythm going, and once we got it going, it was clicking, clicking, and we just kept on doing what we had to do.
Coach, just talk about the team adjusting to the injuries and next guy stepping up. Well, I got, a, I got a resilient team, and it's a team of players that I love. I truly love working with them every day. We had some nicks and, and bruises, but, you know, the way we train and the way we condition our mind is, you know, next man up. You know, I, I condition my guys that, that everybody's a starter because at any time your name can be called and you got to be ready. So we don't train as a second team and third team. We train as one and 1.5s. You know, and, and like I tell everybody, everybody's a starter. And uh, I, I tell you what, my hat goes off to these guys because we had a tough start, very, very tough start. And uh, But these guys have been resilient. They've shown up every day. And, uh, you know, they, they've given everything they got. And they play for our coach now. I'm, I'm a tough guy. You know, I'm, I'm a throwback old school guy. But they know. I hug them and I love them. You know, love on them. And let them know I love them after practice every day. You know, uh, and I get the best out of them, and they, they know they get the best out of me. And I think when you got two parties that understand each other and have the same drive, then in the end you can overcome things and get the results that you want. But my hat goes off to my team. It's not that I have done. My hat goes off to these players and my coaches. It, the wins are coming strictly because of them, and uh, I got so much respect for them, and I admire my players. I admire my coaches, and, and uh, I just thank God to be in this position as the head coach. But their effort tonight was, was wonderful, and you see that. Second half, no matter what negative happened, you when you look my players in the eyes, they were solid, and they were ready to go out there and, 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 and do whatever they had to do to win their ball game. And that's something that's good. When you got a, a team that rallies itself, that's a team that is hungry to win and never satisfied. And going in that locker room, we're not even five minutes removed from the game, and they're in there correcting each other already on what we should have did better. Hey, we shouldn't have turned the ball over. That's a team that's not satisfied. And as long as they can continue to give me that effort and the energy and that attitude, I'll continue to coach them as hard as I can coach them, and hopefully we can have many more victories to come. Was that the reason you all were able to make the adjustments that you all made at halftime coming out into the th second half, third quarter? Four quarter and things opening up for you. Definitely. I mean, we talked to our players and we allow our players to have a word and some things because they're out there playing. And we made some adjustments. And I, got, I feel like I got one of the best offensive staffs in college football. I, I got one of the best coordinators in Mark Orlando. And, uh, you know, uh, Donald Hill Ely is a good offensive guy, along with uh, Prince Pearson, who I consider one of the best offensive linemen, line coaches out there, James Joseph. Uh, you all know him. He, he has a history of, of building good running backs and good players. And then Coach Allen Suber has, has done a phenomenal job with a, with a good young receiving core. So when you got guys like that that come to work every day and they're dedicated to these players and these players believe in our, our system and our program, then making adjustment at halftime is easy. And we just did a good job, you know, making adjustments, hearing our players out. They had some good input, and we were able to come back out with a, a halftime game plan that, that was successful. Coach, did you think, um, you know, Alex being a freshman, that he would make this kind of impact by the way? Well, I knew Alex was a good player. I've had my eyes on Alex for years since he was a, a young kid. You know, we're from the same area and know a lot of the same people. So we had a, a chance to land him. Um, I knew we had a special player. And what's more impressive is the type of guy you see on the field. You see the same guy off the field when it comes to academics and everyday life. He's serious about being successful. He's serious about the way he represents the university. He's serious about the way he represents his family. And I got a lot of respect for him. And I tell you what, he's come here. He hasn't asked for anything. He's earned everything. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm happy he's, he's here at Alabama State and he's a Hornet. And I know it's many, many uh, better games for him as, as a head because of, you know, uh, how humble he is. You know, when you find a young man that's humble, and, uh, and just grateful to have the opportunity. And regardless if he gets five snaps or 50 snaps, he gives it all, then you got a young man that has a chance to make an impact on your football team. Coach, now, I know you're, you're not responsible for the next team, but you know preparation and you got a weapon that you prepare for by, by talking about Griffin on the opposite side, six, seven receiver. Were you surprised that they did not attempt to go to him as much as they did? I noticed you were in single coverage for him. Well, well, we had no fear going in to, to play that young man. That young man is a phenomenal player. Yes, I'm going to tell you, he is a phenomenal player. I really pray and I, and I try to give him some, a little bit of advice. And I know DA will do a good job keeping him, keeping him in line. And I told him, keep your nose clean, son. The future is very bright for you. But the, the one thing I told my players, hey, you got to play a football game. 6'6", six, 5'6", six, six, you got to play. 
And uh, we did some cover shenanigans to kind of take some things away from them. And that comes from the experience of Coach Ted Dasher and Coach Lou West, as well as uh, Coach Anthony Campbell. Um, they, they did a phenomenal job putting a coverage system together that kind of always had a guy underneath and on, on top of him. And if he did make a catch, we wanted to make sure we rallied the ball to where he didn't make any extra yards that, that turned into a big play. So, uh, you know, we, I just, my hat goes off to my defense. They had a good plan. We showed what, what seemed to be single coverage, but we always had uh, some things over and underneath them. Um, we wanted to be aggressive with them. And, uh, you know, we want to try to take some things away that that uh, he's made big plays on consistently in the past. And I think we were able to do that. He, I'm still upset because he still could have scored that touchdown. You know, and that was off of a blown coverage. But uh, my hat goes off to that young man. He's a phenomenal player. And I wish him well. Um, uh, I pray that God keeps him safe and he has an opportunity to, to reach whatever goals he has out there. Well, my number one thing is go and enjoy this victory. You know, I don't know if people realize how hard it is to win. And uh, my number one thing is just enjoy this victory, enjoy my players, have a good time with them going back, telling some jokes and laughing, watching them imitate me a little bit. But I just want to enjoy my players. I mean, I love my players. My, my players, anytime you got a group of guys that work as hard as my guys do, you know, I got to take some time to enjoy them. So my, my main thing is enjoy my players, enjoy my coaches. And then when the sun rises tomorrow morning, uh, I'll put my mind on Southern and put the game plan together for them. But right now, I'm going to enjoy this moment that, that, that I have right now. And, you know, I want to say something to young coaches that may read or hear what I'm saying. Don't make the mistake and not enjoy the moment as a coach. Enjoy the moment. Because once those moments are gone, they don't come back. And, and uh, this go round, as a head coach, I'm going to take the time and really enjoy the moments. I really am. So I'm going to go have a good time with my players. And uh, I'll face what's coming tomorrow, tomorrow.